directors of an airplane factory have been menaced by mysterious threats written on the sky by an unknown flyer who calls himself the Eagle. Circumstances cast suspicion upon Nathan Gregory, owner of a small carnival show, who claims that the directors stole from him an invention that is worth a fortune. Gregory's daughter, Jean, convinced of her father's innocence, is fighting hard to clear him of the charge. Meanwhile, Craig McCoy, stunt flyer with the carnival, is trying to recover the plans of Gregory's invention from an agent of the mysterious eagle. You may have something in your pocket that will tell me the truth. Mr. Gregory's stolen plans. Well, what of it? Whoever stole these plans is working for the eagle. I didn't steal them. Well, you'll go to jail. Unless you'd rather tell who did steal them. Okay, I'll tell. Look, a message from the Eagle. Look, Major Evans. Why, it's McCoy fighting with that stranger. That's no stranger to us, it's our boss. Your boss? envelope with Mr. Gregory's plans in. Okay. Help me find it. Give me those plans, I tell you. Get them to me. Say the word, boss. And I old school these things and see what makes them tick. Just hold on to them till I search them. Try to have anyone searched against his will and I'll have this cheap show closed up and everyone in it arrested. Oh, yeah? Hey, Rube! Hey, Rube! Hey, Rube! Hey, Rube! Hey, Rube! No rough stuff now, fellas. They'd like nothing better than a chance to close this show. One of you men has those plans, but we'll find a way to get them back. What plans is he talking about? You know what I mean. The plans to Mr. Gregory's invention. The invention you men stole from him. The invention you're building your fortune on. Man must be crazy. No, not crazy, just crooked. That's a story that he and Gregory have concocted. To try and extort money from us. That's a lie. Oh. Come on, let's get out of here, fellas, before I get us all in trouble. And it's guys like you that makes birds like me hate guys like you. And when I got into the tent, I found Clark on the ground, dead. And this young lady covering the prisoner with this gun. He admitted to killing in the presence of myself and other witnesses. You will verify that statement, I suppose, Miss Gregory? Why, yes, uh, I suppose that is. Go right ahead, Miss. You needn't be afraid he'll start anything. Oh, it's not that. It's because I've known Pat since I was a little girl. And it's. Oh, Pat. Oh, go ahead, kid, and do your stuff. I started something, now you finish it. If you don't, I will. Sure, that story's okay. Just as his knob sprung it. Well, where's me boudoir? Knock him up. Right that way. Is this all you want with me? Not quite. As a matter of form, do you identify this gun as the one Clark was killed with? Yes, that's the gun. That'll be all. Could I speak to the prisoner before I leave? Well, yes, I guess so. Look, take the young lady back to Kelly's cell. 
Miss Gregory wishes to see the prisoner. You may be out of here before we expected. I've just found out something. Do you know whose gun that was? I know whose. Mine. Yours? Yes, the one those men took from me in Gardner's office. That means that one of them did the killing. It's a cinch. Exactly. And I'm going to their office and search for evidence to put them behind the bars. So long, Pat. Don't worry. I won't. Bye-bye, Jeannie. It's certain that they're holding Mr. Gregory prisoner so it'll make him appear guilty of the Eagle's crimes. Didn't Clark say anything before he was killed so that you can guess who the Eagle is? Only that it was one of the directors. And how are you going to tell which one it is? Maybe we can find out which one it is. How? We'll get them all together at the factory, and then we'll send word that Gregory is escaping. Yeah? I don't see how you're going to get them all together. Ah, uh, you ain't supposed to do any thinking, you big palooka. You're paid to bend horseshoes. Quit picking on Heine, will you? He's got plenty to do. Now, your job's all set. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Be at the factory when the noon whistle blows. Number two. Number two. Number 12. Number 12. Number 13. Number 13. Hello, Green. What's on your mind? I've got big news about the Eagle. I don't dare say any more. This is a public phone. Call the others and meet me at the factory in half an hour. Very well. We'll be there. It worked, didn't it? He thought it was Green talking. Why shouldn't it work? What's the use of being a ventriloquist if you can't imitate someone else's voice? Well, then we'll have to step on it to get out there ahead of them. Hello. Okay, boss, I got you. Right away. We've got all of the head for the factory and stand by. The director's a meeting. There's something in the wind. Come on. Let's go. Send a taxi to 241 Water Street, quick. Room? I know it isn't, but I'm going to wait in here where I can hear everything. Yeah. Now you fellas scatter out and hide. Wait a minute. You analyzed me up to the plan. Well, one of the directors is holding Mr. Gregory prisoner. I'm going to make them think that Gregory is escaping. 
And the one that's guilty will make a beeline to stop him. I got you. One of us will tail one of them. Right. And try not to gum up the works, you big palooka. Right. Here are the keys to the back gate. You two fellows scout around while I go upstairs and wait for the boss. We might have to clear out of here in a hurry. you? And how did you get here? The strong man from the carnival tied me up and took my badge. The strong man? Yes. That means McCoy's up to something. We better get upstairs and tip Gardner off quick. How do you like your accommodations, Gregory? You can't keep me here much longer. Don't worry. Your friends will never find you. Don't be too sure about that, Gardner. But Craig, my boy. We'll have you out of here in no time. Look. You phoned me that you had something important to tell us? I did not. Didn't you phone me to meet you here? You stand in the shadow of the ego. Gregory has escaped and is on his way to the police. Who said that? There's no one in this room. Must be someone in the hall or on the fire escape. Way, Jane. Quick. Those birds will take care of her. We'll go on up and report to the boss.
Jim. Quick, fast. Gregory! 